Hey y'all, creator of False Perfections here. This is going to be the first installment of my BTS behind the scenes series. Just going over everything that I want you to know on the production side of False Perfections because obviously it's not a perfect series. Uh, there's a lot of behind the scenes that goes on, a lot of stuff that you don't see, a lot of editing, a lot of hours where I could not be doing this, but I choose to do this anyways. Just to bring you the like 17 minutes or the 10 minutes or however long the future episodes are going to be, the season finale probably going to be like 30 minutes. I want to go over everything that I did wrong in this first episode and how what I'm going to pr be producing next, the captions for episode one, which by the way should always be around a day or two after the actual release of the episode. How that is going to fix all these mistakes so stay tuned for that the very first thing I did an overview of the project looking at it not at a specific area but as in general the frame rate was all messed up it was 20 FPS 20 frames per second whereas I really should have rendered it at 60 frames per second so what I've done is I've gone back and I've gone through some of these specific scenes that I edited to put into the project and I've changed them from 20 FPS to 60 FPS. So what I did, I got the original file, I put that there, I got the uh, new file so that I don't have to go back and make all the sounds again, and then I separated the audio from the original video just so I don't have to deal with that, and then I relayed the video over the audio. So now we have the original video before I did the sound effects, so it's unrendered, I, exactly as I got it and then I also have the sound effects exactly as I made them and then I rendered that so now I can go back into the beginning of the episode where I originally put this because the file was so large you can see at the eight nine minute mark that's where I cut it off pretty much directly after the opening because it was again so large that I had to divide it up into two but if we go back into here we can put this exactly where it was Here it is. So we take this, we can delete it, and now we can import our previous file. Go to the fixed file, import it, and now we can place it exactly where the previous one was. And let's make sure that's actually in the right spot. Alright, so that's looking pretty good. Again, I only really want to do it with that scene because I imported that scene and that is real animation, so that doesn't, it, that has to say not choppy. The only other one I could possibly do that with is this one. It's imported from the actual rough draft of this episode. But that's not real animation and it doesn't look that bad. If I had more time, I would go back and change it, but I'm not going to do that for this video. I just want to go over the brief overview and change a couple of things for this captions video. So now that we've done that, we can go to the actual episode, 115 views. Thank you all so much for 24 hours, 20 likes. really like that. But we can just scan it from the beginning to see exactly what I want to change, because I know there are a lot of things I want to change, and I'll show you all of them. Okay, so the beginning minute or so is actually pretty good. I did want to make this a fade in so it's not so sudden. I do want to change this to where it's not a really jarring that it's very clearly the same animation looped just because I don't really have a long version, especially with the light. That's the main issue, but I'm not really sure if I can reverse this. Let me just see if I try to reverse it, what exactly happened. Okay, so it does not let me play videos in reverse. I'd have to open this in another project and that would just be really convoluted. So if this was some really big corporate company i'm sure they would make you do that but in this case i feel like that's a little bit above this skill level so we're just going to ignore that uh, also what i did is i faded the stick man out a little bit quicker all of this was kind of it's integral obviously but it was kind of filler just to fill this time gap here so I could have really filled this with other visuals, but I chose these, and I feel like they work pretty well. In this part, this goes on for way too long, but again, this is exactly 17 minutes long. I don't want to ruin that. I feel like that's a really good time. This could be a lot better as well. If you can see, it's kind of faded in between both. Obviously, it'd be really hard to make it actually 3D. Uh, but let's see if we can edit this just a little bit. Alright, so we made it a little bit less noticeable just by making Yin and Yang specifically fade out a little bit quicker while the rest stays in. I do like this J-cut here. 
is very nice. Maybe it's an L cut. I forget my terms. They mix up easy. So something I want to do here for sure. Slow this a little. Because this really... You don't really get a good look at this character here. It just kind of pans to the left immediately. So if we can just maybe move this a little bit that should hopefully fix it. If not, then I'll also do a couple other things. Alright, it's not quite how I'd like it, so I'm just going to make this to where all three of these are a little bit more to the left. You know what? That doesn't look as bad as I was expecting it to. Now we're just going to fix this fourth one so it actually is consistent. Hmm, so right here. They kind of move when I don't really want them to move like that, so let's fix that a little. Remember, if you hold shift, you can make slight nudges. Alright, that's a little bit more bearable. This character still moves forward a little bit, but I feel like that's pretty thematically consistent, relevant at this current moment. Okay, so I just found something very weird. Very next scene. You can see, look at this background. But if we go into the actual file, you can see the background's actually there. I actually did this. So, where is the background exactly in this scene? Maybe if we move it up a little, it'll be a little bit more clear that it's there. This is all in uh, the correct perspective, so I don't want to mess with it too much. But I don't understand why the background isn't there. That's very weird. Same for right here. Where's the background in that shot? Because it's in the actual production file. And here again, background's just not there, should be. This part I thought that was cool how Yin and Yang stayed a little bit longer. Uh, but I did want to make it a little bit brighter. Easy solution, just take any kind of text format, cover the whole screen, delete the text, boom, white rectangle. Alright, that was a lot harder than it should have been, but I actually managed to fix it. So again, this is going to be a lot more consistent with its frame. It's going to look so nice. I'll upload this specifically today, so you'll see that like three days ago compared to when this actually comes out. Well, then again, this might come out tomorrow or the next day. Probably the next day. Because I do want the captions out tomorrow, so I'll upload this today. Finally, I also do want to get rid of this Go. This is Super Smash Bros. Announcer Go. But, for whatever reason, Camtasia just doesn't want it to sound good. Uh, I also kind of want to get rid of this, but I'll just have it be gone in the actual Yin versus Yang uninterrupted fight. Obviously, the fight's all good. Yep, that right there. It's so inconsistent with the timing. I should have caught this, but this was really a Camtasia thing, so I gotta fix this right now. Oh, I cringed when I heard that. Here it is, as you can see. What I did is I moved these three things over uh, in post-production earlier. This is kind of post-post-production. Uh, but then I forgot to move this one specifically. So if we just move this all the way to the right, that works. Perfect. Another thing, I think they're called placids. I have on this microphone something to prevent that. So if I didn't do that and I started going, puh, puh, or any kind of weird vowel, that's not a vowel, it's a consonant. But if I made any kind of weird noise, then it's going to have that little wind effect. Uh, what I should have done is I should have taken this off and put it on the actual microphone that I've been using to record my voice, and then I wouldn't have had that issue. But because I did not do that, it's a lot harder to fix all these. Uh, what I can do is what I did for one of them. We're also going to have this fade out because I feel like that would sound a lot cooler. Boom. Picks up loud. Love it. We can also have the music fade out while we're here. Doesn't have to be a long fade out, just a little quick one. There we go. So something else people gotta really be careful of is you don't want to clip, and that means just having this audio be at this top. It sounds kind of distorted, kind of bad. What we're gonna do, we're going to take from here onwards, and we're just gonna decrease the volume by like 5%. Plus that'll give the consistency levels of the volume just in general be a lot better. Something else I did kind of forget to do is I did absolutely want to go back and add some sound effects for some of this stuff. Adjust the levels accordingly, of course. Perfect, I love that. Nope, don't like that. 
we're changing that so that it goes longer and actually cuts off right where he says poosh. Perfect. So these blinkings are really weird. They look different on YouTube, but I'm not going to say they look worse. Uh, so this is a very, very big thing. So you see this? I'm just going to slightly adjust this down. What I did here is when I was going in and making some of these, or just editing some of these, this box is what is important. This box is the cutoff window. I did not want to cut it off so I could adjust it later on. That means when you see this box, you can see there's a slight difference in between the bottom of the actual image and the bottom of the box. And that is a huge deal because that messed with a lot of my images in this. The whole shebang. It was ridiculous. So we're going to do press shift, slightly move all of them down. Anywhere that happens because I really hate having that gap. I could not get over it. It was terrible. Honestly, probably the worst thing about the entire project. There it is again. You can see. It's so noticeable. It's so terrible. No, how did this slip by? I did fix some of them, but I didn't realize how many of them were this messed up. Inexcusable, unforgivable, terrible nonsense. Oh, oh, that was noticeable for me. This image appeared before the background. Similarly, this image disappeared before the background. So that's changed. That's consistent now. Did I forget that anywhere else I didn't realize? That looks like everything else was good. So this, again, this is taking from <laughs> the rough draft. That's why it's a different art style. It was made by a different person. Um, and then I obviously edited it together. So I would probably change it so the art style is consistent. I did have to change a couple of things to make sure LD Ranzer's art style was more consistent. Or L Ranzer. And the sound effect's a little weird. It's kind of blurry when you zoom in this much, but I do like what this looks like. I feel like the money thing, the dissolve was a little awkward, obviously, but if I had the budget for anything good, it would obviously be a lot better. So another thing, you can very much so tell between these two assets. Look at the color of the hair. This was intended for a scene uh, that was not here, obviously, but I picked it off from that scene and plucked it into this scene uh, just because it looked well and it fit. So, that, I mean, it's perfect for this scene, but the color inconsistencies throughout the entire show are a little bit messed up. Not only that, but sometimes the eye color changes, and the eye color is very important. That being said, I'm going to preface this by saying all of this is my fault, even though other people worked on this, even though I, I directed them. So again, this is completely my fault. I should have clarified more so than I did how important some of this stuff was. Uh, but again, there's no way they could have really known. Uh, obviously, I did tell them about the eye color, but sometimes it's just not a thing that can be changed. And sometimes it works, like when he's in a dark environment, for him to have brown eyes, that would actually look pretty consistent. And again, his hair color here, it's meant for a darker environment. So you'll just see all these different inconsistencies throughout the show. There's not really much I can do with it. Maybe I could edit it, the color, but it'd be kind of difficult, but I will maybe see about doing that in, for the future episodes, and especially for the movie. It, none of the inconsistencies will be in the movie. That's 100% for sure. And that's all for the first part, so I'm going to render this for the next, like, 30 minutes, and I'll just see you in part two.